What's up everyone and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Showdown Battle Royale Arena Extravaganza Match. Today we're battling Zabs. There's a Zab man. Zibbity Zab. What's in the blab? Hmm. That doesn't work. Anyway, Zabs, be sure to let me know uh, what your username is on YouTube down in the comments if you see this battle. Uh, lately, I've been trying to figure out who I'm battling by the username, but a lot of times there's a lot of imposters in the comments just telling me that they are the person that I battled and I really don't know which one is which. So hopefully I can find you, Zabs. But uh, this is an awesome battle here. As you guys can see, we've got kind of similar teams. We've got three of the same Pokemon uh, with Mamoswine, Mawile, and Greninja. And actually, he's got Rotom too, which I usually have, but not on this team. This time around, we've got Gudra, Poncho, and of course, Brave the Talonflame making a comeback today. Still with the acrobatics, but uh, we'll see how it goes. This is a longer battle than usual, which is nice. All of the battles that I've had recently up on the channel have been kind of short, so let's get to it! Or, okay. Um, gotta push the button twice, I guess, but here's some music. I think this might be like the legendary battle music. Pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know what number it is, but I'm actually going to lead off with Greninja, thinking that he's going to go for his Mamoswine, because that is my usual lead, at least, when I have Mamoswine. Um, so thinking that he's going to go for his Mamoswine, I went straight off for the Greninja, hoping to get off a, a Scalding to the Mamoswine, but he actually goes for the uh, Rotom first, or Shower Time here, to which I'm going to respond with, hey, here's a Dark Pulse, thinking that he's going to switch out, so at least, you know, we can take up that Bolt Switch. Or wait, did I say the wrong move? Dark Pulse. Yeah, I used Dark Pulse going into the Dark type with Protean, thinking that he's going to Volt Switch so that it at least isn't super effective. But instead, he goes straight off for the Substitute, actually taking a lot of HP from himself there. Uh, so I'm going to hit that up with the U-Turn. It doesn't take it out. I really wasn't expecting it to since Greninja does not have that great of a physical attack. And it would have been even lower because he's about to hit us with a will o -Wisp here. So that U-Turn, the next one would have done even less if it wasn't for the fact that U-Turn actually switches you out. But I'm going to go to Greninja, which doesn't really utilize any physical moves at all. But we are ignited right now, so our health is going to be slowly ticking down until it goes away, all the way down to wherever we go. And when Pokemon faint, where do they go? There's no, is there a heaven in Pokemon? Is there a Pokemon Heaven? I don't really know. I guess they just go to Mr. Fuji's Pokemon Tower um, or somewhere else in Kalos. There isn't really like a cemetery kind of place in Kalos. There has been one in all the other games, hasn't there? Like, all right, you know what? Let's focus up on the battle here. He's actually going to switch out his Rotom, which I don't really mind since he had the substitute up. I didn't really want to deal with that substitute, uh, but he is going to switch out to Espeon, a giant special tank and even with or especially with the light screen there that is going to do quite a lot of tanking so i'm gonna go for my signature specialty move here infestation it's like toxic except bad but uh it is pretty good on gudra especially if you run assault vest gudra which is what i'm running right now uh because it is a physical damaging move so it does damage every turn kind of like a toxic burning or just a normal poison would do um, except that it's actually a, 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 it hits on the first turn, so you can use it even with Assault Vest, which is why I kind of run it on Gudra. It's not that bad, honestly, I don't know. I like it. It's a, it's a cool move, so I run that, and it actually is doing not that much damage, especially because this Espeon is just like, hey, I'm gonna stall you out until your burning goes down all the way to the ground to wherever we discussed earlier that we were gonna make our Pokemon go. Uh, so I'm gonna switch out, you know, cause Gudra can't really do any damage to Espeon and he's end up, gonna end up just stalling us out until the burning takes us out. And I'm gonna go into Poncho, who can definitely tail slap away that Espeon like nothing. It'll literally just sweep it away, but he's gonna go to Chomper, and every time I see the name Chomper, I just think of Garchomp. It's like, I see it every single battle, the Garchomps are named Chomper, man. Gotta get some more nicknames, but this one is actually a Mawile, which is not that bad. Look at that big old Chomper on Mawile, and soon enough you'll know that that thing is gonna become two Chompers for the price of one, because that is usually what Mawiles do, you know, they Mega Evolve. Especially since this guy does not have any other Mega Evolutions on his team. So I'm gonna go out to Romano, the Mamoswine. Uh, I'm not sure what he's gonna do here, actually. I know that he's got one move that I was not expecting, and I think that's what he's gonna use right now, because that is a move that can take out Poncho as well. And no, he's actually gonna go for the Play Rough, which is still gonna do so much damage. Mamo Swine, at least he's got that Focus Sash. He's gonna hang on to that like I hang on to my Blanky when I was a kid. I would hold on to that dearly. 
very dearly. So since he goes for the Sucker Punch, I predicted that, and we go for the Stealth Rock there. So we get to set that up at least, and I'm gonna go for an Ice Shard as well, which since Mellow Swine is faster than a Mawile, he's gonna go for a Sucker Punch. Now here I expected him to go for at least one more Sucker Punch, and I was like, man, this is gonna be genius. Next turn, I'm gonna Earthquake, expecting him to Brick Break, or, well, he goes for Brick Break, which is the move that I didn't expect him to have, but he goes for the Brick Break what, on the, right on the second turn. I guess knowing that my plan was going to be to Ice Shard again. Uh, so if I would have gone for the Earthquake there right off the bat, we might have been able to take out this, uh, that, uh, the, the Mega Mawile there. But no, we get outplayed, man. So he's going to go to Smog, The Hobbit 2 in theaters, December something. I don't know. Why am I plugging that movie? Oh yeah, because the dragon is named Smog and it's awesome. So he predicts the Flare Blitz there, obviously, and that is going to do zero damage to... Uh, Salamence there. At least it doesn't really do any damage to Brave either, so we're gonna switch Brave out here, not wanting to deal with that, and go into Gudra, who is not gonna be able to survive. I don't really know why I went to Gudra. I guess I just didn't want Talonflame to die, uh, so I went to Gudra, and she's gonna die from that, or he is. Um, I don't think... I think I have a nickname on Gudra now. I'm not sure why it isn't in here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't even remember what I nicknamed it. Maybe I don't have a nickname on Gudra yet. This battle was... T or took place before the Kobe battle, and even I think before like the the Callum and the and Jimmy battles, so I don't know, this battle was a while ago, I didn't have really a lot of new ones to upload, so I decided to take this old one, and by the way, I'm streaming again tonight, if you guys didn't know, um, I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, he uh, predicts the Ice Beam there, not really a surprise, uh, so we're gonna Ice Beam the Memo Swine. however, because Memo Swine is so low on HP now, he might hit us with an Ice Shard, that won't do too much damage, actually that does a lot of damage, okay, critical hit. I was like, okay, we're an ice type right now. That is a lot of damage. It also actually has life orbs, so maybe that's why. But we're gonna give it a good old scalding now. Didn't take us out, so we can scald away that Mammo Swine. NBD. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, this battle took place a while ago, so some of my Pokemon do not have their nicknames. Wait, even Greninja? Wow, Greninja's not even nicknamed in this battle. What is up with that? Slurp, man, where are you, Slurp? Um, so he's actually gonna go for what is foreplay? What is that? Oh, his name is Foreplay. Okay, never mind. So he's gonna Grass Knot our Greninja. That is, of course, gonna take us out. Since we're so low HP, otherwise we could have been able to survive that, I think. Um, since Grass Knot is dependent on speed, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Just a, just a tiny bit of cough. It's kind of going away now. Um, but since we've got the Stealth Rocks up, now when he switches out back to his Smog, we're actually gonna be able to do a... Uh, Good amount of chunk with the Stealth Rocks, and I was confident that the Acrobatics would take out the Salamence here, but to no avail, look at that, it does not take it out. So I'm gonna go straight up for the Swords Dance. This was a very risky move on my part because, I don't know man, I guess I, I, I was confident that Brave would be able to survive the Dragon Claw, and it did, so that's awesome. Now we have a Swords Dance up Talonflame in the field, which is pretty awesome for us. I'm not sure exactly what he sends out next, but hey, at least we took out the Salamence, and he's actually going to go for Chomper. Now, expecting a Sucker Punch, which is, you know, the obvious move that the, he would do. I go for the Roost here, but nope, nope, nothing that I predict in this battle ends up working out. I was not on my edge, if you know what I mean, the, the Stone Edge there. The, the edge of glory, so yeah, he's gonna go for that. Uh, if I would have gone for a Flare Blitz, it would have been another chance yet again to take out that Mawile. And you'll see this Mawile is quite some trouble throughout the rest of this battle, man. It is not fun to deal with. So I'm gonna go out to my own Mega Mawile here, or Dinner. He's not nicknamed this battle, but you guys know you gotta always chomp your dinner right, or something like that. So we're gonna Mega Evolve this bad boy. Um, I guess I don't know if I go for Sucker Punch here. I don't think so. I was expecting him to switch out, so I think I don't go for Sucker Punch. Yeah, I go for the Swords Dance there, um, knowing that the Mawile, even if it decided to stay in, doesn't have anything that can take us out. I know that one has Brick Break, which can do a good amount of damage, but he didn't go for that. He decided to switch out instead. He's going to go for that uh, Reflect, avoid my Play Rough. Play Rough is rough, man. It is... I didn't even intend to do that pun there, but it is a rough move because it always ends up missing, but hey, once we do get it to hit, boom, that Espeon is down soon, very soon, man, that Espeon is goodbye, goodbye Espeon, so shower time is going to come back now, um, I should have just sucker punched this away, I, I'm not sure why I didn't, so we're going to end up taking, well, he does go for the will o -Wisp there, so I guess I do go for the sucker punch here, and obviously that's not going to work because of the will o -Wisp, but no, I actually go for a swords dance, now this next turn, I'm not sure why I didn't sucker punch, 
clearly a sucker punch would have taken out this shower time here and we could have prevented uh, some future events here uh, but I don't go for the sucker punch I think I end up going for the play rough or what is my other move um, as he's actually gonna substitute never mind okay that's weird so the sucker punch wouldn't have even worked out huh I didn't think he could substitute he seemed pretty low HP so I guess never mind um, my present self is being dumber than the one that battled at this point because he goes for the su substitute there so I guess that was good on my part but here I'm not sure why I didn't go for the sucker punch come on I know that it's here come on come on I believe yeah there we go he goes for the hydro pump uh, he can't substitute anymore I'm already will o wisp so we take a hydro pump pretty much for nothing there um, and yeah, the play rough will take it out. If that had missed, man, that would not have been good. <clears throat> but yeah, apparently my cough is back. I don't know, man. I hope it goes away. It's been a rough couple of days dealing with this. Actually, it's been weeks now, and this thing has not gone away yet. I really don't know. Um, but if I had sucker punched that uh, Brotom wash form earlier, we probably could have survived whatever this Mawile threw at us, or maybe outsped it, something. It's probably a speed tie. I think I went for sucker punch there as well, and he ended up going first, so who knows? But Pancho is my last remaining Pokemon here, our last chance to take out this Mawile, and just look at the damage we are doing with this Rock Blast, man. I suppose I could have gone for Bullet Seed, but either one would have done like zero damage, so. Unfortunately, that is going to spell the end for Poncho. This thing does have Brick Break, so I don't know how it really breaks bricks with his mouth. I guess it just, like, eats them up. Uh, I don't know, man. Crushes those bricks with his giant claws. It's not even claws. It's just his mouth. So I'm going to assume that he just ate Poncho. He literally just ate Poncho, but an awesome battle nonetheless. I think that was a 1-0. Yeah, his last Pokemon was Mawile. We definitely... Actually, he may have had Greninja left. Uh, so Greninja was still left, but... I think Poncho could have outsped that, I'm not 100% sure, we do have Scarf, so probably, but uh, an awesome battle nonetheless, that Mawile was really hard to deal with, there were a couple of key chances I had to take it out, but I didn't take those, so we ended up losing there, but still, you learn something new from every battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed that battle as well, so... Yeah, be sure to check out the live stream link in the description, follow that, and follow my Twitter so you can know when I'm streaming later. Hopefully my cough has gone away by then and my nose isn't as bad. Hopefully, it's pretty bad right now, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it for this battle, so leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.